Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. Go Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We're ready to believe you. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to believe that that was 40 years ago. It's Ghostbusters. I went to the theaters to see that when I was a young kid. Uh, that became a pop culture phenomenon. Believe it or not, the third sequel, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, is now on the big screen, but is it worth the trip? Uh, we're going to find out. So here with his thoughts from the website Paul's Trip to the Movies is Paul McGuire Grimes. Hello. Good to see you. Happy it's Friday. Great to see you, Bob. Happy yeah. 10 years, friend. Thank yes, you. Happy it's 10 years. Been here for 10 years now. Thank been you. Been here for 10 years. That's awesome. All right. Ghostbusters Frozen Empires. Yes. You can see it in the theater right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Go see it in the theaters. Uh, it's the fifth film in this That's franchise. Right. And the new Ghostbusters are back in New York City, so it certainly feels like the original film. And the young daughter in this, Phoebe, who's played by McKenna Grace, is told that she can't be a Ghostbuster anymore because she's too young and underage. So she's really struggling with that. Meanwhile, Dan Aykroyd's character, the original Ghostbuster, uh, Ray, uh, works at this antique shop, and he's given this mysterious antique orb uh, and they learn that it has the power to turn the entire world into this frozen empire. And Paul Rudd's in it, too. Yeah, Paul Rudd's one of the new Ghostbusters, along with him, Carrie Coon, Finn Wolfhard. So my son went and saw this yesterday yeah, for part of his right. birthday present with some friends. Yes. And I asked him, I said, Yo, okay, so he's 13. Yeah. I'm like, was it scary? He's like, no, it was fun. Right. And so if fun, you're, like if you got that. kids out there, it's not scary, it's fun. And I said, you have to know the original. He goes... It helps, but like you don't really need to know the original. Right. I mean, yes, we have the original Ghostbusters back. It feels like that, but they're not like constantly referencing the original yes. movie. So it works on both levels. It works on our generation that loves the original, that wants that nostalgic feel, and then the younger generation can love the new cast, you know, because they do a really good job with it. I do think that there's too many people in the movie. Oh. Like there's so many different subplots mm. trying to give them all just something to do that there's pacing issues, but I do think it's enjoyable. Like it's funny, it's quirky, it's got that odd, you know, geeky sense of humor, which I love, so yeah. it works. And so tickets tickets stubs. Three out of five. Ghostbusters Frozen. Okay. Nice. Yeah, right. I like it. All right, our next yes. one is Roadhouse. This yes. is on Prime Video. What's yes. this one about? So it's a remake of the Patrick Swayze movie. Uh, it stars Jake Hall as a former UFC Ripped. fighter. So ripped. I love every moment of it. Um, it has this former UFC fighter who was given this job to be this bouncer, the security guard at a roadhouse. And literally does he know that it's known for its bar brawls and this kind of corrupt family that will literally stop at nothing to kill their way into owning the roadhouse. Okay. Also stars Conor McGregor in his film debut, Jessica Williams, Lucas Gage, Billy Magnuson's the villain. All right, it's, ticket stubs on this one. So three out of five. It's so over the top. Can't be ridiculous. You have to kind of know that going well, I've in. Seen and this just on that, I've seen on Prime. I've Prime, seen yeah. that. Yeah, I heard, I heard an interview with him, and he was saying when he we heard about the script, he's like, I'm in 100%. I mean, in. have a beer, turn your mind off, yes. and just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. All right, this yeah. last one, surely I yes. have not heard of this one. What okay. is this one about? Based on the true story, stars Regina King as Shirley Chisholm, who back in 1968 became the first black woman elected to Congress, and the movie focuses on her 1972 presidential election campaign. Oh. So she ran for president back in 1972, and this movie charts how she stopped at nothing to try to become president in a, in a world at a time when they did not want a woman president, let alone a black woman being president. Okay. And that is about this. This is on Netflix. It's on Netflix. I will say, like, Regina King gives such commanding performance, so you get to know really her Shirley Chisholm was, and if you don't even know who she is, watch the movie to learn her story. Okay. I think that the movie's trying to do maybe too much. It's racing through, like trying to get so much of that campaign mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. that you're missing kind of the emotional connection, yeah. the gravitas that yeah. this story needs, but if you don't know who she is, learn who she was, especially in this election year. Do you need a sort of a historical education going into this? I don't think so. No. I mean, I know who she was, but if you didn't, I think the movie will tell you who she was and who, like, the other candidates were at the time. Now, there was no chance that she had any chance of winning, but to hear the, the kind of grassroots campaign that she did is really impressive and I think motivating for young voters out there right now. And take yeah. a subs on so this So three one. out of five for sure. Okay, three out of five See it for all Regina around. King. Yeah. All right, all right, Paul. Good thank job. Thank you so ben. much. Good to see you. you. Congrats right. on the 10 years. Thank you. Congrats. For updates, and reviews of movies and streaming services, visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com. And Twin Cities Live Movie Trip is presented by Muska Lighting. Visit Muska Lighting in Eden Prairie and Roseville to see the new products they have on the floor.
Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.